Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV. Guys, today we're going to be checking out Khalid Yassin. Jesus is Islam. I clearly believe Jesus didn't preach Islam and Jesus didn't have any religion. And religion came after he left. So, I don't really know why a religion was created in the first place, but maybe it was created so people can follow a specific way of life to better nature and people's life. I feel religion actually help people be better because religion actually stop people from doing some certain things you're not supposed to do. I think that is a very very good reason. But guys, let's get straight into this. And I love Jesus Christ. And I contend with those who call themselves Christians. I contend with you. I compete with you in, 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 in my love for Jesus Christ and my attachment to his message and his mission. But no, I don't say that blasphemy against God. I don't put forward and perpetuate that lie concerning Jesus Christ. He never said that he is God and Jesus Christ never said, worship me. So I don't say Jesus is God, nor do I say. Well guys, I feel this, this, um, I will say this question. Jesus never said, I'm, Jesus, I'm God, Jesus never said worship me. I feel it's invalid because Jesus saying, I am the Almighty, and him saying, I am the first and the last, it clearly means he is God. Like, I'm not saying Jesus is God, but if you want to go through his ideology, when Jesus say, I'm God worshiping, for Jesus to say, I am the Almighty, what does it mean? Like, I'm asking questions now, because I need answers in the comment section. Jesus said, I am the Almighty, in the book of Revelations, and Jesus said, Jesus said, I am the first and the last. Because Jesus clearly said, I will go and when I come back again, I won't be speaking in parables. And the book of Revelation actually talks about the end time when Jesus has come back. And Jesus said, I am the Almighty. So you saying Jesus never said he's God. Please, I know God has, I think, up to at least 100 names. So you saying, we all know that God is clearly classified as the Almighty, and God name, part of God name, means He is the first and the last. So you saying God, Jesus isn't God. For you to be a God, you don't have to say worship me. And Jesus saying He is the Almighty is clearly a definition that He should be worshipped. But I'm not saying Jesus should be worshipped. But I believe He's the Son of God, and I want you to show me a place in the Bible that says Jesus was just a prophet and we shouldn't worship him like i want to see that place like i won't see it because jesus was not just a prophet i believe no muslim will say jesus is just a prophet because you see him as the messiah and i see him as the messiah too so i think you should google the meaning of a messiah guys like google it check the meaning of the messiah because we both believe he is the messiah so check the meaning of the messiah and why Jesus came on earth, we believe that he came here to, to, to die for our sins. And that was a prophecy that he actually fulfilled. So if Jesus didn't die, he didn't actually fulfill the prophecy. Let's get back. <laughs> that we should worship Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ never asked anybody to call themselves Christians either, just in case you don't know that. Yeah. He was the Christ. In Arabic, it's called Masih, Masih or Messiah. It means anointed or appointed or selected or touched by God. Yes, he was. He was touched by God. Guys, he was appointed by God. I need to Google the meaning of Messiah for you. I'm coming. Hey, guys, I'm back. Right. He said the Messiah means someone touched by God, but I don't think that was the Messiah in my own dictionary. Because you say uh, that a leader regarded as a savior of a particular country, group, or cause. Guys, it also said that the promise deliverer, the promise deliverer of the Jewish nation prophesied in the Hebrew Bible. Like, 
a messiah means someone that actually comes to deliver people and if you want to ask yourself what did jesus come to deliver us from you actually know that there's actually some sense in what christians actually do really because you're calling jesus just a prophet and him saying a messiah is someone that is touched by god it clearly isn't the answer of a messiah i'm not trying to tell you that who oh, believe in christianity or anything like that but i'm just trying to show you that just there are some truths in what you believe there is nothing there like understand where people are coming from like before you kind of judge them so let's continue with this god he was anointed by god he was selected by god and he said i can of my own self do nothing but whatsoever i am ordered from the one on high that is what i do he said in his prayer, called the Lord's Prayer. My Father, who art in heaven. Our Father, who art in heaven. Meaning God the sustainer, who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. He didn't say my name or our name. Thy kingdom come. Not my kingdom come or our kingdom come. Thy will be done. Not my will be done or our will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Give us. This is Jesus talking now. Give us this, daily bed, this day our daily bread. Give who? Give me and my mother and all of us our daily bread. And certainly, if God gave him daily bread, which he asked for, God also gave him daily drink. Because you can't swallow bread without drinking. And if Jesus Christ and his mother, if they ate bread and drank water, their bodies used whatever part was nutritious, and their bodies evacuated what was waste. Now, can you imagine God defecating and urinating this is what Jesus said give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those that trespass against us it's Jesus prayer don't guys I want you to uh, you are gonna say I'm backing up the Christian faith I'm not trying to listen to him open heartedly but I clearly believe I've had this before in my last video and I kind of listened to the whole thing, so now I think I can talk. So sorry if you are finding this offensive, but I'm just trying to express myself with the knowledge I have. You may say my knowledge is little, but I clearly know that I'm talking, I'm saying things that is in the Bible, and you can actually prove me wrong if you want to. I, I, I kind of, I'll put some verses there. It's going to be hard to do, but I will do it for you. So if you want to remember that before Jesus said the Lord's Prayer, the disciple actually asked him, please, I think his master or um, Jesus, please teach us how to pray. And he said, okay, our father. And he was teaching them how to pray. I'm not saying God is still Jesus' father. That's why he said, our father, who art in heaven, who be the name of the kingdom come. But him saying, Jesus will seek one defecate that doesn't actually relate to the story and that doesn't relate to the Bible or anything. It's actually adding things to it. I know he's trying to make an instance, but I don't feel we should use that instance. Like, it, it, it's kind of disrespectful. Like, if someone is telling you you have to defecate and stuff, like, it does not sound right. I, I don't know if it's just me or... But I personally feel it does not sound right. Like... Let's continue. You aggravated with me. I'm reminding you of the Lord's Prayer. Because I was a Christian, born a Christian, and I memorized this prayer, and I know it very well, and it is consistent with a prophet and a messenger who made that prayer. And deliver us from evil. Deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, not mine is the kingdom, not ours is the kingdom, but thine is the kingdom. Forever and ever. Amen. 
This is the Lord's Prayer. We have a love for Noah, Abraham, Moses, Zechariah, David, Solomon, Isaac, Ismael, Jacob, Lot, John, Jesus the Christ, and Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon all of them. And they all were servants of God, servants who submitted their wills to God. And the word Muslim means a servant or one that submits themselves to God. By that definition, Abraham was a Muslim. Moses was a Muslim. Solomon and David were Muslims. Isaac, Ismail, and Jacob were Muslims. John the Baptist, the son of Zechariah, Jesus, the son of Mary, and Muhammad, the son of Abdullah, all of them were servants of Almighty God, and all of them were Muslims. Guys, if you want to use this, this ideology to claim they are Muslim, I would say all Christians are Muslims. Because if you want to use this ideology, I, I would say everyone that believes in God is a Muslim. Because I can tell you, you can ask all the Christians in this world, and they'll tell you they believe in one true God. I mean, all the Christians, like out of the two point something billion Christians, I, and I will tell you, they will say, we believe in one God. We give our will to one God. So you want to use this explanation to say that <laughs> Abraham was a Muslim, like, I feel... If they were Muslim, they would preach the religion. You know, submitting your will to God is one aspect, but having a religion is another. Like some people, some some people actually believe in God, but they are not in any religion. They don't believe in religion. They just believe there is God, and we have to pray, worship, pour our will to Him. They don't believe in religion. So, like. That kind of person, like, are you going to still call him a Muslim? Like, get my point right. Like, you just calling people Muslim because they believe in one God and they put their will to him. That means we all are Muslims. Like, if that is just what it takes to be Muslim, that, that means everyone in this, everyone that believes in God is Muslim. I hope you see where I'm coming from. Guys, let's get back. And it wasn't until 354 years after Jesus Christ at the Council of Nicaea that the pagan idolaters and Romans determined that Jesus Christ was the man God. And they were the ones that brought about the idea of Trinity, sonship, and divinity of Jesus Christ. 354 years after Jesus Christ, that's almost 400 years. Jesus Christ himself had nothing to do with the Trinity, and Jesus Christ himself had nothing to do with divinity being placed upon him, and Jesus Christ had nothing to do with calling himself the Son of God, except that he used a generality. The metaphor that all of us are metaphorically, allegorically, the sons of God, sons and daughters, not that God... Guys? I don't know why I'm really seeing this as offensive, but maybe it's me or I don't know if you're going to say I'm trying to protect my religion, but I'm not. I'm just saying this as a fact. Like, I won't say something like this about the Quran. Like, I won't say Prophet Muhammad calling this person a prophet means he's not a prophet. He was seen metaphor metaphorically, but Jesus clearly said, I am the son of God. Like, Different instance with red letters, he said it himself. So you coming out to say that it was just pushed, like I will say it makes no sense. Like I will be honest. This actually makes no sense because you coming out on live television and yeah, you know you're gonna be broadcast and you saying this. It actually makes no sense because I feel the Bible was written way, way back. Like the Bible actually like a lot of research were made, like a lot of different books were also written by people who were pagans that actually 
Like you can see that the books were written and you read the Bible, it actually still makes sense. Like a lot of eyewitnesses actually wrote different books. And like you saying Jesus never claimed to be the son of God is just, I don't even know how I will explain it, but I'm not really picking offense from this. I'm being honest. I'm not picking offense, but like you just can't come out and say Jesus never said he was the son of God. And it was clearly written that Jesus said it was the son of God. Like, I don't know how people do this. Like, I don't know how you can just come out and disprove something without any fact. Like, it does not make sense. Like, when I said in my other video that Jesus said, before Abraham, I am. Someone said that was a fabrication. I asked her, please prove it. And she was like, you know the truth. I can prove it. Like, that does not make sense. Like, that clearly means, like, you are ignorant and you're just claiming things you don't know about. And because of this, like these things actually kind of make me angry in some way because you just can't disprove someone without any fact, any evidence. You just come out and say, this isn't right because it isn't right. Like, it does not make sense. Like, that's not how life works. Like, I'm not going to use this example I want to use, but let's just finish this. Had a son begat, God gave birth. But if you remember in the Old Testament, God said, Isaiah is my son. God said that Abraham even is my son. God said that David is my son. Yes. God mentioned this not because they were born of God, but it means son means chosen. Chosen by God. Yes. Selected by God. Yes. A person dedicated to God, yes. whom God loves yes. and God blesses. By that definition, God had sons by the tons. Yes. Like, guys, if you use this definition, like, I clearly believe you. Like, I accept it. Like, you're saying Jesus is the son of God. Maybe he's just saying he is chosen. But, like, that definition actually makes sense. No, you're saying Jesus never said he was the son of God. Because that is a whole new fabrication. Like, that is a whole new lie that you're telling but God actually called God himself. Like, people actually had it. Like, it's not like a story or anything. Like, people were there. They were eyewitnesses. The heavens opened and God said, This is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. And you can actually say that is God saying he, Jesus was chosen. That is fine, but you, you just can't just say Jesus never said he is the son of God. Like, this explanation... I like it. I can accept it. But don't just say it was. <sighs> Guys, let's go back. I'm not possible. As such, Jesus Christ was not the exclusive Son of God, if we want to use that terminology at all. But Jesus called himself the Son of Man. That's what he called himself. Yes. He was called that rabbi, that man from Nazareth. And his followers were called Nazarenes. They never called themselves Christians. It was at the Council of Nicaea that this word Christianity was determined. And so whoever adopted the new Nicaean creed became Christians. And those who did not were Nazarenes and they were killed. We believe that Jesus Christ was born without the introduction of sperm. We believe that because God creates what he wills. We believe that God created Adam, no father and mother. We believe that God created his mate, Eve. We believe. And God says in the Quran, when they ask thee about Jesus Christ, say, the likeness of Jesus is the likeness of Adam. God created both of them from dust and his word. And he said, be, and they became. This is our belief, that if God created Adam, I said I won't put, but I'm sorry. Like, I feel you using Jesus and Abraham is, 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 is just strange. Like, you shouldn't. Because if you think of it, Abraham were the starting point of life. And these people were created so we can exist. But after Abraham and if being created from dust, there have been no man that, were, that was created like that. 
if if Jesus was to just come out, then he should have come out like Jesus. God could have said, "Become and you became." Without, he could have just God could have created Jesus from dust too. Like there's something I I don't understand why people don't see that there's sorry that there's something more incredible about Jesus that meets the mere eye because. You just can't say he's just a prophet. He he came from uh, okay. He came without a father. Like I don't know why you people are not feeling this energy that is all around the world. Even atheists, like atheists, different people who don't believe in God, still use Jesus' name. Like see, that name is significant. Like it's something that I know the whole world needs. Like. They need it in their day-to-day life. Like. But let's come back to the birth of Jesus. Jesus was created without a father and placed in a woman that was pure, a virgin, and she knew no man. And you were saying Jesus coming out from a virgin without no sperm is because Jesus, God said, be and it became. It's right, like, that's the truth, but he is different from Abraham and Eve because Abraham if was created without any male or female. Well, Jesus was created with a female, a virgin. And there's something actually unique about that because she got pregnant without any man. And that is a miracle itself. And Jesus was actually prophesied. I don't know. I, I feel I won't say but. Well, I want you guys to read about the prophecy of Jesus Christ. Like, just read about the prophecy of Jesus. Like, he was supposed to, like, Jesus' name is Emmanuel, God with us. Like, there are a lot of things that made people to, like, after research, like, they saw it and were like, Jesus is more than the mediator. Jesus is more than the son of God. We think he should be equal to God. In the sense that I'm not saying Jesus is equal to God, I will never say that because I believe Jesus said, My father is greater than I am. And I believe Jesus said, and I believe Jesus said he's the son of God. And I believe God said, This is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. And I believe before Jesus died, Jesus cried to the Father. And these instances make me not to believe Jesus is God. I, I solely believe he is the son of God. Because Jesus remember like i don't know if you've read this in the bible when jesus went to pray and he was like he was as bright as the sun and his disciples wanted to tell people and that's why peter didn't wanted him to die when jesus came out from the i think jesus came out from the mountain or yeah he went to pray in the mountain then he was as bright as the sun and peter was like Jesus said he should not talk about what he just saw. And when Jesus went down, then there were soldiers there to arrest him. And Peter was like, no. And Jesus clearly said, get behind me, Satan. Because that was him fulfilling his purpose on it. And I think I'm preaching now, but let's get back into this. And he had no mother and father. And his mate, and she had no mother and father then why is it difficult for us to believe and understand and accept that God created Jesus Christ with no father but had a mother? This is our belief. We believe that Jesus Christ spoke from the cradle and performed many miracles. Yes, he raised the dead. He caused the blind to see. He healed the lepers. He fed the multitudes. 10,000 people from seven loaves of of bread and seven fish. Yes. Yes, he took a clay pigeon and blew into it and it flew away. But he said he did this by the leave and the power of God. And when he was called good master by someone, he said, why dost thou call me good master when there's none good except the one that is in heaven? We believe that Jesus Christ was one of the most great and powerful prophets and messenger of Almighty God, but that did not make him a man-God or a God-man. Such 
is the elevated position of Jesus Christ in the faith of Islam. That's the one this video, guys. I believe Jesus is not a god. I've seen this since I think I started my channel. But I <laughs> let me go back. He said Jesus actually did a lot of miracles with the help of God. Yes, Jesus did. Like Jesus did a lot of miracles. I think more than any other prophet. I he said Jesus is one of the mightiest prophets. I feel if you want to call Jesus a prophet, I think he I don't think he is the mightiest. But scrap that out. Jesus is not a prophet because you can't call with if you want to go to the analysis of prophets like prophets are not prophets don't know their prophet from birth i don't think there's any prophet that knew he was a prophet from birth uh, i don't think like there's any prophet that came out in that kind of way jesus did like i don't know why people can't just see that he's not just a prophet if he was just a prophet he could have been given birth in natural way like every other prophet and there's not supposed to be anything unique about him i think i'm talking to people who actually like think like think outside the box like think outside the box like why is it that and i will tell you i'm not telling you to come to christianity like i'm being frank like i just want you to know what there is to know about jesus I feel most people think they know everything and I can tell you you don't like there's a lot to learn there's a lot to to understand and I, I I'm not done understanding it like I'm not done but from what I know I'm telling you like if you want to say a prophet from Abraham Isaac Jacob like they were all giving birth in natural way like I don't think any of them did some certain miracles and like I just tell you Jesus is more than a prophet and I believe most of you believe me but some people will say he's a mighty prophet but why did he come out that way like why wasn't giving birth to him like why was he giving birth that way why was he prophesied like I don't understand I don't understand like he was prophesied angel came to the mother and angel going to the father like I don't know, like, read about the birth of Jesus, like, read about it. You understand that he is more than a prophet. You you can't, like, it's an insult to call Jesus just a prophet. Now, if you call him a Messiah, yeah, we understand, like, a Messiah is better for you than you calling him just a prophet. Because a Messiah is one that comes to resurrect, like, that comes to fight for people, that like, comes to resolve, like, give his... I want to give his life because that was not in the dictionary, but like he came to like deliver people. That is what Christians believe in. I'm not saying she comes to Christianity. Don't get me wrong. But like if you understand that Jesus came to deliver, because he said he came to deliver the earth, not some part of the earth. He came to deliver everyone. And I wish you can understand this. But guys, tell me what you think about it. This video is long, like the longest video I've ever talked about because I think I had, I have understanding in this topic. That's why I was able to express myself very, very well. Guys, search to like, share, subscribe to my channel. Feel free to educate me in the comment section. And I bet you I'll be on the comment section. Guys, I'll see you next time. Peace.